take a look at this dash cam video from 2016 that's making the rounds again. It captures a traffic stop near Encino in Brooks County, Texas, and things take an unexpected and risky turn. Sensing a police encounter, the driver of the truck makes a daring move to escape. After crossing the highway, the driver eventually pulls over, triggering chaos as over 20 migrants come out of the vehicle, scattering in all directions. A speeding car grabs the attention of the local cops, and here kicks off a not-so-typical chase. A determined policewoman takes charge, dead set on bringing the suspect to justice. <laughs> The runaway car shows zero interest in stopping. The police car is right on its tail, maneuvering through the twists and turns of rough off-road terrain. Right when you believe you've witnessed everything, our brave policewoman pulls a move that will leave you stunned. She takes aim at the car's tire while it's still moving. Although we don't have the next scenes recorded, Let's hope they caught the suspect and serve justice. Check out this crazy video where a young guy snatches an ambulance for who knows why and takes off in a super fast chase. Here's how it went down. MedStar folks went into a Mount Clemens hospital to drop off a patient. They parked the ambulance outside and bam! Out of the blue, a 21-year-old dude, who wasn't even a patient, sees his chance and zooms away in the MedStar ride. Now, imagine a speedy chase through Mount Clemens City, with the ambulance even going off-road at times. The wild ride finally stops, and you see a deputy walking up to the stolen ambulance with his gun out. The good news, though, no shots were fired. With some help from the Clinton Township Police, they nabbed the guy, and thankfully, nobody got hurt. Check out this video where two courageous police officers jump into action to save a man trapped in a burning car on Interstate 30. Even though they didn't have all the right gear, they were determined to rescue him. Officer Mark Kling, one of the first responders, later shared, It was really scary. The situation had us on edge, to say the least. Radio recordings captured the urgency and intensity of the moment. When Officer Kling arrived, he found Bilal Alamin, 31, conscious but confused, likely under the influence of drugs. Moving quickly, Officer Kling used a baton to break the passenger window. However, thick smoke made it challenging to unfasten the driver and bring him to safety. Fortunately, they successfully rescued the man, and he was rushed to the hospital for recovery. Check out what happened in Pelham, when the cops got a call about a drunk guy threatening his family with a knife. This went down around 2.23 p.m., and things were really tense. When the officers got there, they found 34-year-old Christopher Lanzio on Burns Road, holding a knife and being a serious threat to folks around. Drop the knife! Put the knife down! The situation got extra worrying, because Lanzio wasn't fully dressed, just wearing pants. Plus, he was less than a quarter mile from Pelham High School, where students were being let out, but the officers handled it well. Drop the gun! Drop the knife now! Drop it now! Show me! Drop it now! I'm begging you to drop it now! Hey, drop the knife! Hey, listen. I got the answer. All right, listen. They nabbed Lanzio and made sure the area was safe, keeping the public and the students at the school out of harm's way. Picture this, a regular day in Cyprus, and suddenly, bam, an explosion shakes up a mobile home park. The officers on the scene wasted no time. They rushed over pronto. The fire was going wild, but these officers didn't hesitate. They went into the mobile home to save a guy trying to tackle the flames, he was holding on to something super tight, and it broke. All the way, all the way, all the way, guys. Hey, Grove, can you make sure they... Just in the nick of time, they got him out before everything went kaboom. 
a Massachusetts police trooper stops a reckless motorcyclist. The motorcyclist is seen arguing with the officer and even trying to fight back. Things take a dangerous turn when he starts riding his bike while the trooper is still on his way. Thankfully, the trooper wasn't hurt, but the motorcyclist managed to escape from the scene. Check out this video where a guy makes a daring escape from the cops. It's like a mix of luck and some smart moves. The guy leads the officers on a fast chase through the streets. Then, at a busy intersection, he gets lucky. He skillfully drives through the chaos, leaving a trail of tire marks. During a long burnout, he puts some distance between himself and the cops. The cops decide to stop at red lights to keep folks safe and avoid crashes. It slows them down, but it shows they care about people's safety. Just when the cops are puzzled, the guy disappears at the perfect moment. Get ready for this touching moment caught on a dash cam. A careless driver ran a red light and crashed into a marked Milwaukee police car on May 2, 2022, near North Holton Street and East Locust Street. The police car rolled over, but here's the incredible part. People passing by quickly stepped in to help. Together, with unity and kindness, they managed to flip the rolled over car back on the ground and assist the officer in getting out. Are you okay? I'm okay. Just hang out, just hang out. Just hang out, just hang out. Just hang out. Luckily, no one got hurt. Check out this video where the cops notice a truck driving all over the road erratically, and they try to pull it over, but the driver doesn't respond and keeps driving in a crazy way. It's clear he's not okay because he doesn't listen to the police signals, putting everyone on the road in danger. Then, to make things worse, the truck's tire bursts from all the swerving. The truck speeds down the road, putting lives at risk. Finally, the suspect was apprehended. Witness this dash cam video from Monday morning in Metro Detroit. Cops were in a short chase trying to stop a black Ford Fusion with no license plate. Instead of stopping, the driver decided to run, leading the officers on a chase. In a risky move, the driver turned towards Sterling Lake Apartments to avoid getting caught. Unfortunately, the plan didn't work and he ended up crashing. The driver tried to run away through the passenger door, but the police caught him. Get out of the ground! Get out of the ground! Get out of the ground! When they checked the car, they found some worrying stuff. A weapon, a black ski mask, and a bunch of credit cards that didn't belong to him. Check this out. On September 9th, 2022, a trooper in Scott, Arkansas, spotted a stolen car. The alert trooper quickly jumped into action and started chasing the stolen vehicle. Even with the loud siren, the driver didn't stop and kept going. Then, a smart move happened. The trooper made a move, and the suspect's car spun around. The driver, a woman, left the car and got caught by the police. Witness the intense moments captured by a police dash cam as a train collides with a van at a rail crossing near Route 237 and Holland Road. The van reportedly tried to maneuver around the railroad gate, but ended up stuck on the tracks. The video also highlights the heroic actions of the police officer, rescuing the van's driver just moments before the impact. Following the incident, the van's driver received a citation for disregarding the warning lights. When asked about it, the driver said they were really thankful for the police officer's watchful presence. Here's another intense video of a high-speed chase and some fast moves featuring a GMC Denali attempting to escape from the Arkansas State Police. 
The police tried to pull over the driver, but he didn't stop. So, the trooper pulled off a strategic move, causing the Denali to veer off the road. However, the determined suspect got out of the ditch and kept trying to escape. The chase finally ended dramatically when the Denali lost control while going around a curve and crashed into some trees. Check out this concerning incident captured on the police car's camera. It all happened after a cop pulled over a car for breaking traffic rules. Once the traffic stop was done, the cop went back to his car. Just a short while after getting back in, a big truck scraped against the patrol car, causing a lot of damage. According to Missouri law, drivers should slow down when passing emergency vehicles with lights on the side of the road, but this driver ignored that rule, leading to this awful accident. The couple, who had been pulled over earlier, rushed out of their car to help the officer in the badly damaged car. Late at night, the police were chasing a suspect on a motorcycle. He was speeding on the empty road but tried a tricky move by turning off-road, which didn't go well for him. He lost control of his bike and got caught by the police. Get ready for a wild off-road chase caught on a cop's dash cam late at night. Someone decides to ditch the road to escape the cops and zooms away on an ATV. The officer goes after the suspect, but when the ATV heads into the woods, the cop has to leave the car behind. But hold on, this brave officer, determined to catch the suspect, goes into the woods to get them. We don't have the next part on tape, but let's hope the suspect was caught and brought to justice. On April 15th, there was a guy wanted for a previous shooting and he got into a crazy chase with the Michigan State Police. The exciting video from the police car's camera takes you through neighborhoods and the busy streets of downtown Kalamazoo. The suspect even drove against traffic on Michigan Avenue, creating a lot of excitement and danger. But the police, determined to keep everyone safe, kept chasing him. The chase got intense at the intersection of West Kalamazoo Avenue and North Park Street, where the guy's car finally crashed. Trying to escape, he decided to run on foot, but the police were quick and caught him right away, putting an end to the wild chase. Witness this dash cam video capturing a tornado hitting Newcastle. In just a few minutes, everything changes from calm to chaotic, as the winds get stronger and a feeling of danger fills the air. The storm quickly grew stronger, becoming a powerful and destructive force of nature. Thankfully, the area was evacuated before the tornado hit. See this video from the dashboard camera of a stolen police car. The driver took a police car and drove it like crazy through narrow roads while the police chased him. The car crashed, but the driver kept going, acting like nothing happened, not caring about the damage to the vehicle. One day, on busy Brooklyn roads, an officer spotted a minivan speeding beyond the limits. The minivan driver kept speeding as the officer followed, skillfully avoiding collisions with other vehicles. Okay. 
Suddenly, the minivan went in the wrong direction, causing chaos on the road and stopping other cars. The driver then tried to run for a quick escape, but was thankfully caught and brought to justice. On Christmas Day in 2019 in Alaska, a tow truck driver was in trouble when his vehicle broke down. Officer Stephen Busby was there, helping the distressed driver tow the vehicle. Suddenly, an SUV lost control around a bend and swerved into the oncoming traffic lane. The SUV started sliding, kicking up a bunch of snow, and its back wheels came dangerously close to the tow truck driver. Miraculously, he managed to avoid disaster. Luckily, nobody got hurt. While Officer Michael Murphy was doing his job, he pulled over a car and started asking some questions. How you doing, Officer Murphy? Montgomery County, please. Can you turn the radio down? How you doing? Where, where do you work? Everything seemed normal until another car came speeding from behind, fortunately not causing any serious injuries. The officer hurried back to his car, ready to chase down the reckless driver. According to authorities, the car was driven by 35-year-old Lenwood Saunders. He was driving that night even though his license was suspended and he shouldn't have been on the road. Next is a video of a guy in a high-speed chase. It started on a Sunday night when this guy tried to run away from a regular traffic stop in Hillsborough County. Two cops were waiting for him on I-75 in Hernando County, just south of SR-50. They stopped his car, but he was really determined to escape. He went east on SR-50 into Sumter County and north on SR-471 with the cops right behind him. The guy did a crazy U-turn on US 301 and went west on CR 470, keeping the cops guessing all the time. The chase finally ended when he got off west on SR 44 and pulled into the Pilot Travel Center parking lot. He was stuck with no more moves and they finally arrested him. In Kirkby, Merseyside, a Volvo got pulled over by traffic cops for some reason they didn't say. Two guys in work uniforms got really angry during this, turning it into a crazy scene. Out of the blue, these two dudes jumped out of the car, started chucking a bunch of bricks at the police car, and took off, leaving a wrecked windshield behind. Guess what? They got caught later on. Now, they're facing prison time for their stunt and a bunch of charges. The officer stopped a guy during a traffic check and asked him to do a sobriety test because the officer suspected he might be intoxicated, but then things went south real quick. The guy tossed something at the police car, and that's not even the end of it. He ran up to the police car, jumped over the front, and smashed the glass. After that, they nabbed the guy. A Gaston police officer tried to pull over Joseph Drafts, a 42-year-old guy from West Columbia, for speeding and a license tag issue. But Joseph wasn't having it. He ignored the flashing blue lights and kicked off a 10 mile chase outside the city. As this whole thing unfolded, Major Stephen Watkins spilled the beans that they called in Lexington County Sheriff's deputies for backup. They smartly put these stop sticks on the highway to try and stop drafts, and guess what? It worked. One of drafts' front tires got punctured, but he kept going for a bit. Eventually, it all came crashing down when his tire completely fell off, and his ride smacked into a pine tree. In the woods, 10 Bush bomb. <laughs> Stay in the door! Stay in the door! After the crash, drafts pulled a bold move. He ditched his car and ran into the woods. Officers didn't waste any time and sent in the K-9 unit to track him down. Trooper Cheers pulled over a woman on Interstate 55 for speeding. He asked her to do some sobriety tests, and unfortunately, she didn't do well, showing signs of being impaired. So, he gave her a quick breath test, and it turned out her blood alcohol content was over the legal limit. Uh, 
No, you're not. No, you're not. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. When he broke the news about her DUI arrest, things took a turn. Instead of cooperating, she tried to make a run for it. There was a tense struggle as she tried to break free from Trooper Cheers and hop back into her car. Trooper Cheers chased after her but eventually lost sight of her vehicle. On October 18th, 2021, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a police officer noticed a stolen KIA and decided to chase it. The driver of the car wasn't willing to stop and kept speeding despite the traffic on the roads. I got the driver pinned in the car. The whole thing came to an end when the car finally crashed. The police got urgent calls about a driver going the wrong way. It was getting really dangerous as the car almost hit an officer who was heading to the county jail. More officers rushed to deal with the unfolding crisis. The smart police officer made a skillful move, gently steering to stop the wrong way driver in a controlled way. Check out this video where Detroit's police cars navigate through a crowd of protesters. Two squad cars are blocking the protesters' way to a main road. Chief Craig explains that it's because about 25, 30 people in the protest were causing trouble on a Sunday night. Hold on tight because things get intense quickly. Some of the protesters start acting up and it gets pretty rough. The main squad car, surrounded by an angry crowd, is trying to move through as slowly as possible. Suddenly, out of the blue, the back window gets smashed. Chief Craig says the officers inside the car weren't sure if they were being shot at. With a quick decision, they hit the gas and made a speedy exit. Trooper Jesse Duda was in a snowstorm while helping a stranded vehicle on the side of the road. Suddenly, a crash happened right in front of Trooper Duda's eyes. Luckily, no one got hurt in this scary collision. In April 2019, Something amazing occurred in the skies over Bethany Beach, Delaware, on a Tuesday evening. The sun had just set, creating a calm atmosphere. Suddenly, something very rare appeared in the sky. A fireball that grabbed everyone's attention. It was a fantastic sight. And fortunately, the officer's dash cam recorded this moment. Anthony Butler Jr., the suspect linked to a carjacking and murder, led law enforcement officers on a harrowing pursuit through multiple cities. The whole thing ended when he lost control and crashed into a fence at an apartment complex in Euclid. I gotta go through the grass over here by the apartments. I gotta block the failing. Show me your hands! The brave officers approached the suspect's vehicle cautiously ready to regain control of the situation. Hey, what's your name? I can't do nothing, man. Hey, I'm no. coming up over here. We're not going to secure the area. The suspect now faces serious charges, including fleeing, receiving stolen property, and a range of other traffic-related offenses. A police officer saw a car going really fast, like 90 miles per hour, in a 75 miles per hour zone on Interstate 55. The officer started chasing the car, but the driver didn't stop and kept speeding, trying to get away. The officer performed a maneuver to push the car off the road. After hitting a divider, the driver lost control and understood he couldn't escape, so he gave up and surrendered. 
a routine trip to the drive-thru turned into a nightmare for a 19-year-old man. As he reached to pay, his money slipped from his hand to the ground. He opened the door, leaned out to retrieve his money, and accidentally put pressure on the accelerator. The vehicle surged forward, crashing into the wall and trapping his head between the door and its frame. Police arrived swiftly, finding the man unresponsive and without breath. The officers initiated the rescue operation by breaking the window to disengage the vehicle gear. With the arrival of medics, they successfully moved the car away from the building, freeing the pinned man. In a disturbing incident in North Toledo, a woman was assaulted with a weapon during a robbery. Toledo police responded promptly, obtaining a description of the robber's vehicle. A chase ensued, with officers ordering the driver to stop. However, the robbers refused to surrender, and the driver initiated a PT maneuver, causing the vehicle to spin out. Despite attempts to escape, the driver was unsuccessful. One of the suspects exited the car and tried to flee on foot, but was apprehended by the police, while the others were caught at the scene. On a quiet Tuesday morning, things took an unexpected turn in Greenfield, Wisconsin. What started as a report of something fishy and a basic traffic hiccup soon spiraled into a nail-biting series of events. Police found themselves in a fast-paced chase as the suspect's vehicle careened through the streets. The drama reached its peak when the car crashed near 60th and Lincoln in West Allis, slamming the brakes on the escape plan for the two guys inside. That's when the long arm of the law caught up with them. A dad in Cleveland reported his 10-year-old son missing, who had taken the family car for an unexpected joyride. What followed was a nerve-wracking pursuit by the police, hitting speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. What is your emergency? Yeah, there, I'm on 90 West, and there seems to be what looks to be a child driving a silver infinity with, I don't know. State troopers deployed tactics like a rolling roadblock and stop sticks but this determined young driver maneuvered through it all, keeping the chase alive. In a clever move, officers strategically blocked the car, putting an end to the chase. Cleveland's off-road driving down the ditch. We're not gonna let him get back on the highway. The vehicles blocked the front of the vehicle, so that terminated the pursuit. He's out, 31, 31, he's out. Without wasting a moment, they approached the locked car, managing to safely extract the boy without any harm. While doing a regular road check in Lincoln County, Tennessee, an officer stumbled upon an unexpected scene. A man, looking a bit tipsy, stumbled out of his car and took a dive headfirst into a nearby creek. The officer hurried over to check on him. Another equally drunk friend from the car joined in, making sure the guy was right and encouraging him out of the water. In the end, the man emerged slowly, luckily without any serious injuries. It was a regular day in Yunnan, but tranquility vanished when a woman, later identified as Rose Becca, sparked a high-speed police chase. The situation took a worrisome turn as Becca zoomed through a school zone when students were heading home. She maneuvered through the streets at a brisk 70 miles per hour, with officers hot on her trail. But hold on, the drama didn't end there speed skyrocketed to a staggering 90 miles per hour. Right, back off, back off, I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> Finally, authorities cornered Becca off Fisher Road, swiftly surrounding her vehicle and placing her under arrest. A search of her car uncovered a surprising find, possible cocaine and marijuana 
adding another layer of complexity to the unfolding drama. On southbound Interstate 71 near State Route 48 in Warren County, Ohio State Patrol troopers spotted a reckless driver, prompting concerns for public safety. They decided to pull over the car, only to discover a distressed woman signaling for help. Shockingly, it turned out she was being kidnapped. One of the troopers immediately started chasing the car. The driver, Thomas Gorman from Lakeland, Florida, took a bold move, hitting the gas and speeding away with the woman still in the car. The pursuit concluded near Winton Road when Gorman lost control of his vehicle. Troopers closed in, and after a brief struggle, they successfully took Gorman into custody, rescuing the kidnapped woman from harm's way. Milwaukee police were on the hunt for a vehicle linked to a carjacking. When the driver ignored officers' signals to stop around North 76th Street and Mill Road, a pursuit unfolded. Despite the suspects attempting to flee, the officers stayed steadfast in their mission, committed to bringing the carjacking culprits to justice. They pursued the vehicle until it came to a stop, and the driver surrendered. Although two other suspects tried to escape on foot, the police were quick on their heels, capturing them and ensuring justice prevailed. Watch this crazy moment when a cop in Mount Pleasant spotted a moped driver on Oak Street. The moped had no registration sticker, and the driver wasn't sitting right. The cop tries to pull them over, but the driver speeds down Pine Street instead. In the dash cam video, you can see the moped making a sudden turn, crossing railroad tracks, and boom! The driver loses control. The cop manages to catch up with them and make the arrest. The alert center got a worrying call about an Opal van driven by a drunk person leaving a house. Police were sent right away to find the vehicle. The police officers worked together smoothly. One skillfully put a spike strip on the road while the other managed the crowd and ensured safety. Thanks to their excellent teamwork, they stopped the vehicle and saved a life. The officers flagged down a speeding vehicle, expecting a routine stop. Yet, as they neared the pulled-over car, certain signs piqued their interest. The police officer, detecting the distinct odor of marijuana, inquired with the driver. The driver showed a bag containing jars filled with marijuana, sparking a deeper investigation. Hey, by the sheriff's office. Uh, we just stopped because of your speed. All right. I had you going 72. Here, uh, where's the marijuana at? Huh? Where's the marijuana? Where's the marijuana? Where's the marijuana? Subsequently, the man was arrested with a substantial 2,000 grams of the illicit substance discovered inside his vehicle. A police officer in Newark, Ohio, caught sight of a driver behaving recklessly and decided to give chase. What unfolded was a heart-pounding 35-minute pursuit, snaking through winding country roads, gravel paths, and dirt tracks. Piloting a front-wheel drive Buick, the suspect showcased astonishing skill, smoothly navigating sharp corners marked with a modest 25 miles per hour speed limit at staggering speeds exceeding 80 miles per hour. Even in a robust police interceptor, the pursuing officer found it challenging to match the suspect's evasive tactics and lightning-fast reflexes. The officer's remarkable focus and cool-headed composure allowed them to tackle the rugged country terrain, including gravel and dirt, all while keeping the suspect in sight. Luck eventually ran out for the suspect, 
culminating in a crash that abruptly terminated the high-stakes chase. Birmingham police were on high alert when they spotted a group of robbers driving a stolen Audi RS6. Swiftly, the police initiated a chase. After a short pursuit, the stolen car abruptly stopped in the middle of the road. Failing to stop, we are buzzing to drive back towards Chelmsford. It's that Audi RS estate that uh, I shouted up earlier. Current speeds in excess of 90, 90. Get in, get in, get in! Expecting a confrontation, the officers prepared to approach the robbers. However, instead of surrendering, the thieves reversed the car and intentionally rammed the police vehicle, causing significant damage. Another police car took over the chase, pursuing the robbers. He's ramming us. Oh, I ain't got my belt. Wait, 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 I'm taking him out. We're gonna make tactical contact. We are making tactical contact due to the fact we've been rammed over. Following the chase, the culprits were eventually apprehended and sentenced to eight years in prison. A bank robber was on the loose after holding up a bank, sparking a police chase. The pursuit led to a crucial moment when the suspect was cornered, forced to park his vehicle off-road and surrounded by officers, marking the starting point of the video. Demands were made for the suspect to exit the van, but he defied, choosing to accelerate away, sparking a dramatic chase in Macomb County. Amidst the unfolding pursuit, determined police officers employed various tactics, including the pit maneuver. Executed with precision, this maneuver caused the suspect's van to swerve and struggle for control. After some intense moments, the suspect's vehicle was cornered. Just when it seemed the situation might de-escalate, an unexpected turn occurred. The driver abandoned the van, initiating a foot chase. However, the police officers were relentless, hot on his trail, and determined not to let him escape. While patrolling the area, a vigilant trooper spotted a vehicle matching the description of a suspected kidnapper. After catching up with and pulling over the vehicle, the troopers approached for a closer look. Detecting the scent of marijuana, they noticed a woman in the back seat who closely resembled the description of the missing hostage. Swiftly, the troopers safely evacuated the woman, bringing her to a secure location for questioning regarding the events leading up to this encounter. Dispatchers verified that the suspect had a history of violence and drug abuse. Consequently, the individual faced multiple felony charges, including kidnapping and drug possession. Lieutenant Ed Schilling from the Franklin County Sheriff's Office noticed a Chevy sedan zooming at 74 miles per hour in a 60 mile per hour zone. Promptly activating his lights and sirens, he attempted to pull over the stolen car. All right, he got spiked, he got spiked, we're still... However, the drama took a distressing turn as the situation quickly escalated, with speeds soaring over 100 miles per hour. The driver, ignoring the flashing lights and blaring sirens, continued to recklessly navigate through traffic. In a tragic turn of events, the stolen car struck an innocent pedestrian named Arthur Smith. Or north. Oh, crap. He just hit somebody. Come on, he just hit a human. The collision sent Smith airborne before he crashed onto the pavement, adding a somber layer to the unfolding events. A Michigan State Police trooper witnessed an RV running a red light at the intersection of M46 and M91, initiating a chase. Attempting to slow down the RV, troopers strategically deployed spike strips near M82 and Amy School, hoping to deflate its tires. Despite the tires being completely shredded, with only the metal rim exposed, the determined RV refused to stop. Even with significant damage, the RV continued south on US 131 
in the northbound lanes amid heavy traffic. We're coming up to the fire, guys. Disregarding the risks, the driver tried to navigate between both lanes, resulting in a collision with four civilian-driven vehicles. Eventually, the RV exited onto US 131 on the ramp to 17 Mile Road, turning east. Looks like County's at 14 Mile on the northbound pass. Okay, County's got the freeway shut down at 12 Mile. At this critical juncture, troopers executed a pit maneuver, safely bringing the dangerous pursuit to an end. In Sebastian County, Arkansas, chaos ensued following a reported vehicle theft triggering a pursuit involving law enforcement officers. The dramatic chase unfolded with Porter, the driver of a stolen pickup truck, hitting speeds of around 100 miles per hour, engaging in a reckless rampage. You've done that and just continue on uh, Dayton Road towards 71, I'm 10 7. In a desperate attempt to escape, Porter aggressively collided with multiple law enforcement vehicles and even targeted an innocent vehicle on the road. The intense pursuit concluded with the arrest of Porter as she lost control of the truck. She was taken into custody under suspicion of eight counts of felony, including aggravated assault, fleeing, and being a felon in possession of a weapon. Get ready for a wild ride as we check out the dash cam footage of an exciting police chase that went down in the wee hours of Sunday morning. While cruising around the Red Roof Inn parking lot, officers spotted a Chevy Impala with really dark windows. What surprised them was finding a guy knocked out in the driver's seat. When they walked up, they noticed a rifle lying on the back floor. After waking the guy up, they caught him trying to hide a plastic bag with some weird white stuff inside. Things took a dangerous turn when the driver backed up, putting the officers at risk like he was trying to run them over. The driver took off, kicking off a crazy police chase through North Charleston streets. It was full of high speeds and close calls that had everyone on the edge of their seats. Eventually, the suspect got caught when he ran out of steam. Distressed calls flooded the dispatch center as vigilant citizens reported a driver exhibiting erratic behavior dangerously swerving a truck across the freeway in Hilliard. Swiftly responding, Hilliard police took immediate action, recognizing the urgency to regain control of the situation. With determination, they initiated a pursuit to apprehend the driver, aiming to curb the potential harm caused by the reckless actions. He is conscious. He just attacked the scared wheel as he veered off. The intensity of the chase heightened as the truck sped along I-270, making its way toward the junction with I-70 in East Columbus. After a relentless pursuit, the truck eventually came to a halt near East Main Street. <laughs> Much to the authorities' surprise, the cargo on board turned out to be syrup. The motives behind the driver's erratic behavior remain unclear, but traffic violations were evident throughout the pursuit. On July 5, 2021 in Bangor, Wisconsin, the police received a call reporting loud yelling from an apartment. Upon investigation, they discovered a heated argument between a couple. Apparently, the woman wasn't contributing to rent, and she wasn't officially a resident. Coming off. <laughs> The situation escalated as the man, growing increasingly frustrated, repeatedly asked her to leave. However, she adamantly refused and escalated the confrontation with offensive language. She will not leave up out my apartment. Okay. That is my As tensions peaked, the police had to intervene. They arrested the girlfriend for causing a disturbance and threatening the police. Oh, why had to go to Jail. Although she was later released, she had to commit to returning for a court appearance when required. A woman named Christy, 54, was driving under the influence and collided with a sizable 15-foot tree, 
leaving it lodged in the front of her 2004 Lincoln car. Concerned residents nearby promptly called the police upon witnessing the incident. When the authorities located her car, they observed that both airbags had deployed, likely due to the impact of the tree. Detecting the scent of alcohol on Marianne, the police conducted tests to assess her ability to drive, and unfortunately, she did not pass. Marianne confessed to hitting the tree, which was close to her home, approximately three miles away from where the police arrested her. However, she couldn't recall the exact location. Now, Marianne finds herself in legal trouble, facing charges for driving under the influence. Late at night, a police officer pulled over a car because the driver seemed unable to drive safely. The officer asked him to do some exercises to see if he could drive properly. Stay right here for me, all right? See this light is up? Just take your hands out the pocket for me, all right? Okay. Initially, the driver cooperated, but as the exercises went on, he started resisting. At one point, he unexpectedly moved towards the officer and then quickly denied it. Start. Come on. All right, go to start, sir. 1,000. Come here. Ready? 1,001, hey, The officer had had enough of his behavior, so he decided to arrest him. Officer Jessica McGraw was checking out an accident on Highway 23 when Officer Matthew Stewart joined her. While they were talking, a white car suddenly lost control on the northbound side and came crashing towards them really fast. In a quick and courageous move, Officer Matthew Stewart saw the danger coming. Without a second thought, he jumped into action, grabbed Officer Jessica McGraw, and pulled her out of harm's way. The crash happened, and the car smashed into the patrol vehicle, sending debris flying everywhere. A routine traffic stop by an officer from the Sheridan Police Department escalated into a high-speed chase when the driver refused to comply. Recognizing the escalating threat due to the high speed, the officer decided to employ intentional intervention tactics to halt the ongoing pursuit. Unfortunately, the pursuit ended in tragedy as the suspect's vehicle swerved into the officer's lane, resulting in a loss of control and a devastating crash in the roadside ditch. The Washington County Sheriff's Office released a dash cam video capturing troopers pursuing a runaway vehicle experiencing mechanical malfunctions. The car, driven by a 20-year-old female who had earlier called for help, refused to slow down. Another clip included audio recordings from the female and the dispatcher, who worked to keep her calm while providing instructions on how to stop the vehicle. This is Becky. All right, take a hold of your emergency brake and just gradually pull that a little bit. And Following the dispatcher's guidance, the car eventually slowed to a stop in the median, prompting troopers to rush to check on the distressed female. As the trooper opened the door, the female began crying in distress, and he reassured her that everything was now under control. Police initiated a pursuit of 19-year-old Jalen Alexander, who had outstanding warrants, including charges of felonious assault and child endangerment. The chase originated in Troy and extended north towards Hoover Heights. The pursuit concluded in a heart-wrenching tragedy, claiming the lives of two individuals and causing injuries to two others. 431, I need medic. While a trooper was aiding the driver of a disabled vehicle, a sudden maneuver by Sherry L. Frank, 44, of Plain City, in a white pickup truck, aimed to avoid a collision, but resulted in a collision with the patrol car's left rear. This caused Frank to lose control, veering off the right side of the road 
and colliding with the concrete barrier. Fortunately, both the trooper and the passenger of the disabled vehicle emerged unharmed. Picture this, a guy in his Toyota SUV cuts off a police car, and what does he do next? Something bold and kind of crazy? He decides to show off by burning rubber right in front of the cop car for a stunning 20 seconds. The whole thing got caught on the police dash cam. Now, here's the kicker. The guy doesn't seem bothered at all that he's right in front of the police. But here's the twist. He's not just being reckless. Turns out he's way over the limit. After a quick test, his breathalyzer reading hits a whopping 0.151, which is more than three times the legal limit. His license got yanked on the spot, and to top it off, they took away his ride. Now, he's looking at charges for driving under the influence and pulling stunts with his vehicle. A worried driver reported Gino Miller, 27, driving a white pickup truck recklessly. Miller was doing dangerous things like changing lanes a lot, and even driving on the shoulder. Deputies, with determination, surrounded Miller's truck and started chasing him for several miles. This persistent chase went into Burrio County, where cops used spike strips multiple times to stop Miller's truck. Despite the high stakes and possible risks, the police kept going, catching Miller quickly. The pursuit got more intense when, during the arrest, a bag of fentanyl fell from Miller's vehicle. You just want to get on four corners, you can probably do a really roadblock. This surprising event led to finding illegal drugs, showing how serious the situation was. A cop noticed a speeding car and quickly pulled it over. Things got surprising when the driver pulled into a shopping center parking lot and got out of her car for a moment. Even though the cop told her to get back in, she didn't listen and refused. We're still moving. I just get tag on it. I see a portage going a lot with me here. She got back in her car and sped away, with the cop chasing her. Just two minutes into the chase, the cops get to a terrible crash where the suspect's car is all messed up. While a young couple from Wisconsin was having a routine traffic stop, something unexpected happened. Alex Patoka and his girlfriend were chatting with another officer outside their car after getting pulled over for speeding in Jackson early Wednesday morning. Out of the blue, something was thrown at their car. When they checked, they saw that their car was getting egged during the traffic stop. The officer walked over, shining his flashlight around to find the egg thrower. Yeah, I saw it. I think they're egging our car, are you kidding me? They later discovered that a 19-year-old behaving badly, threw the eggs. After a 15-minute chase and some questioning by the police, they arrested the teen, who apparently didn't like the police. On a significant day, June 12th, an observant sergeant spots a white Chevrolet S, 10 parked at a construction site well beyond operating hours, sparking suspicions. Acting promptly, he kicks off a thrilling pursuit of Krauserly, the person suspected to be involved. Is that beer? Yeah, let me see your driver license. Why are you drinking beer? Oh, I'm Shut off. The chase heats up as they race down Blad Mountain Road, navigating through streets and putting innocent bystanders' safety at risk. Prioritizing community safety, the sergeant decides to call off the chase. However, the tale doesn't conclude there for Victor Crozerly. A turn of events occurred when it was revealed that the license plate on his truck had been reported stolen in another city, deepening the mystery surrounding this incident. On April 11th, early in the morning, a dash cam caught a car speeding wildly through the streets near 22nd and Bancroft going dangerously fast. The video shows how the driver's careless moves not only risked their safety, but also endangered others. The cop signaled the driver to stop using lights and sirens. Instead of stopping, the driver ignored the signals, sped up, and made a bold turn south onto 24th Street.
The chase got more intense, putting the fleeing driver and others on the road in danger. The car ran a red light and smashed into a 48-year-old woman's vehicle and another car at the junction. The police wanted to stop a car for a traffic check, but the driver didn't listen and decided to escape. It turned into an actual chase on the road. While making a turn, his car went off the road and hit something. He left his car and tried to run, but within half a minute, the police caught him and he got arrested. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and most creepiest one. And if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. A routine drive for a woman and her 88-year-old mother took an unexpected turn when they encountered car trouble. Sensing a potential mechanical issue, they pulled over to the side of the road. Officer Cody Lemiel happened to be nearby and approached to assess the situation. Hey, pop your hood real quick. Yeah. I popped down the stairs like on the side. Oh, you might have fire. What initially seemed like a minor problem quickly escalated as Lemiel noticed smoke and flames emerging from under the hood. You want me to carry her? I can carry you if you want. Come on, walk. Can you walk with the man? Come on, we're just going to walk. Acting swiftly, he ensured the safety of the driver and her elderly mother, who, due to Alzheimer's, faced challenges exiting the vehicle. Lemiel demonstrated exceptional courage by lifting and carrying the 88-year-old mother to safety before the car succumbed to the flames. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.